three boys. They're homeschooling at different times, you know? So, like, my son Dutch, he's done by 9 a.m. He's 13. He's done. The other two kids, 17-year-old and 16-year-old, they kind of work at their own pace, and they have different stuff. And so, as parents, we're trying to get as, as involved as we can. You know, my wife was... Uh, you know, she's she's participating as much because I'm I'm on the air and she's you know so I can't. And then when I come home, we try to family bond, you know, because we're all quarantined and stuff. But so I can't help them with math, English, pretty much anything that's way over my head. Mm-hmm. Well, my son Jake, for his history class, he says he has to watch Saving Private Ryan. <gasps> Love that movie, right? So I'm like, I can help you with that. <laughs> it's a good one. I could sit down and watch that movie with you. Yeah, I remember watching that movie with my dad. So I'm like, okay, let's. Go. But then when I, I, again, it's one of those situations where I can't find that movie for free anywhere. It's not on Netflix. It's mm. not on Hulu. It's not on HBO. It's not on whatever. So I had to go rent it. Oh, I think I have it. What do you mean you have it? Like on where? I think Mr. Baby has it. That's his favorite movie. Like he bought it. Yeah, he bought yeah. it. So I had to rent it. So it was like four bucks or whatever to rent. But we start watching it, and when it when you rent it, it's you know. Two hours and 49 minutes mm-hmm. and we start watching it at 8 30 oh, and i'm no. like uh does this project have to be done tonight <laughs> you know so he's got it's got to be done tonight so i'm gonna watch some of it with him so it's an intense movie but what stood out for me the movie was made in 1993 saving private ryan incredible movie world war ii in the movie you've got matt damon who plays jason bourne you've got tom hanks who's in the polar express and his woody in toy story You've got Vin Diesel, Mm -hmm. who is Groot. (laughs) And then, and this is all the first 20 minutes, I notice this. You've got uh, the sergeant, who is Walter White in Breaking Bad. It's just such a weird, like, what? Oh, my God. Like, I can't even. It's a totally different movie than when I first watched it in 1983. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know what I mean? All these people came out and became Mm -hmm. breakout stars. Like, it's weird. I'm like, Walter White? What's Walter White doing in Saving Private Ryan? (laughs) I know that is weird to see. It's weird. Go back and watch it. It's like all these people became massive. And and what's weird is uh, Vin Diesel, he's this skinny little dude. You know, was that like his first movie? Or yeah, what? very first movie ever, oh my gosh. ever, ever. <laughs> it's crazy. And, and even go deeper is if you watch Friends. Do you remember the episode of Friends when Chandler got a different roommate than Joey, and he used to watch him sleep? Vaguely. Oh well, that guy. Oh guy's, yeah, that guy's in there too. <laughs> <laughs> <Chandler is. laughs> That's in the first <laughs> first twenty minutes, and so I'm trying. You're watching this incredible, powerful scene, and I'm like, "Hey, that guy plays Groot." And Jake would pause it. What do you mean? He would pause it on Vin Diesel, and the guy next to Vin Diesel, his face is blown off. And I'm like, "That guy plays Groot." And you go, but look at that other guy. I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> but anyway, so it's a powerful movie, powerful movie. And it's Saving Private Ryan. And speaking of movies, Rich, you said this social distancing is costing you money. Oh, my gosh. So we're on the air yesterday, and my kids, uh, since since I'm uh, social distancing and broadcasting from the house, my kids were able to stay over because they can just kind of entertain themselves and hang out. Normally, they would be be over at their mom's house. So I said, entertain yourself. I mean, we got a backyard with a basketball hoop. They've got, like, board games galore. They got all their stuff. They're good to go. But when we're on the air, I see a bunch of charges pop up on my Apple card while we're on the air. And I truly, other than going for a walk, I haven't gone anywhere or bought anything. I've made food, and I'm seeing all these $15, $19 charges pop up. So before I do anything, I start challenging the, uh, you know, on your uh, phone, you can say dispute the charge, dispute the charge. And then I find out that my daughter, Audrey, has been ordering all these girl movies to watch just, just on my Apple TV. That's where all the charges were coming from. So she bought, um, Kyle, let's see if you approve of this girl movie list. She bought uh, Dirty Dancing. She bought Footloose. She bought, I guess, the new Little Women remake. I didn't even know that was out. Um, she bought uh, uh, Steel Magnolias <laughs> and, uh, gosh, something else. There's another girl movie on there, too. Maybe 16 Candles. But I'm like, you can watch all those on Netflix for free. <laughs> so I had a, this total credit card, like, fraud alert, stop everything. And it was my own kid upstairs. <laughs> well, she said that. We say, look, look before you buy Look at all the apps to see if they're free. I try to do that first, and it's that's why I ended up renting Saving Private Ryan. So what did she say? <laughs> see, renting, and she's like, "Well, I asked you about the Devil Wears Prada yesterday, and you said, yeah, I could get it.' And I, I like, okay, but you asked me. It was like we're just going on a spending spree. <laughs> so and are anyway, those movies available for free on? Netflix? I own all like, those movies. But why does she try to find it on Netflix first? I, I think they are. 
But what- I, I know I had that discussion. I was I was like it was like talking to you know I don't know it didn't go through very well. Mm. Like please don't spend any money. Please don't. I wonder or if where you she do, got- ask me about it first. I wonder where she got her list because like those are all like pretty retro mm. movies. Yeah. Did you guys see totally. Miley Cyrus? Her live yesterday I, on Instagram. Yeah. And My all. wife's all over her Instagram. She's been doing a, her own talk show. And so she goes on live with like other celebrities. And yesterday she was on with Reese Witherspoon. And she asked oh. her her list of must watch movies. And so it was pretty similar to Audrey's list. So I'm Are like, you where did she get that list? It was oh, like, like a, a lot of retro stuff. Like 80s like girls that. movies? Coming yeah. back. Mm-hmm. I saw mm-hmm. her on, she had BB Rex yeah, on yesterday. And then she had her dad on. And oh, so, I didn't see uh, that. I just saw the Reese part. Oh. I was like, go Miley. She's like, it's fitting. I like to talk. So for me to have a talk show, it's totally, you know, it's obvious. But yeah. I want to listen. <laughs> so she had this whole list of questions she wanted to ask Reese. It was really cute. Well, I fo- think, I, you know what? The social distancing, it's also cost me money, but in a different way. Because my kids are five and two and I'm looking for things to do with them. And so I bought a bounce house. I bought a sandbox. I bought, I bought like all this stuff and like these deliveries keep coming to the house just so we have like other stuff to do in the backyard and like they're kids so it's probably totally unnecessary but as a parent I'm like we need more stuff to do what can we do I know it's not unnecessary because <laughs> yeah. I can tell you I remember when my kids were that little and I remember it's like keep them active so then they go to sleep mm-hmm. then they wipe out but what happens is they're like cockroaches and they get stronger <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and, they get and then you have a situation like that I made my true. son Dutch. Dutch is 13, and we're home quarantine, and he is non stop. He is not that kid yesterday. He finished his work by 9 a.m. Then he took a, he has a little basketball hoop and he put it all over the house to play basketball. Then he grabbed a surfboard, which I didn't know we had in the garage, <laughs> put it in the pool, and tried to have the dog, Charlie, tow him across the pool. Oh, that's then cute. Then he tried to slide down Genius. the pool, slide into the surfboard, and he was doing all kinds of stuff all day. Then he was coming up with dances. Then he wanted to do a TikTok. Then he wanted to go take all the dogs for a walk. And we started, I don't know if you guys have seen in, in, on Instagram the last week or so, he invented a sport called basketball golf where we walk around the block and with the dogs but he doesn't take a dog he takes a basketball and he goes and shoots baskets in everybody's basket if you have a hoop in your house mm-hmm. he goes and does it <laughs> and it's over, the street. yeah it's almost like you're trespassing but you're not because right. every neighbor is pretty cool like yeah, it's on their course. driveway yeah it's on their driveway but then every once in a while there's a hoop that's just a little too maybe it's in, in. their backyard and the gate's <laughs> open and so then it's like the brother's like come on you're such a girl, you won't go. And then it's like, I'll go. And then it's like trespassing is a little, you know, the people that have a hoops, they don't care.